grade one. Today we are going to learn how to be telling the time quarter past, half past and quarter to the hour. So we need to know that a clock is made up of four quarters and we need to know that the clock has two halves. If you have your clock there, have a look and see if you can identify where the four quarters are and where the two halves are. We also need to know that the time is read past the hour and to the next hour. So keep those in mind when we're going through this PowerPoint. And if you have a clock there with you, the one that you made, you could have identified those also. Here are some questions to get us started. So how many seconds are there in a minute? What is the answer? Well done, it's 60. How many minutes are there in an hour? Hmm, let's get thinking. Well done, it's 60. How many minutes are there in quarter of an hour? So if there is 60 minutes in one hour, we need to find out what a quarter of that is. This is quite tricky, but give it a go and see. Well done if you got it right, 15, and well done for giving it a go. How many minutes are there in half an hour? There are 30 minutes in half an hour. And we know that because in an hour there are 60 minutes, so half of 60 is 30. Oh, next one, how many days are there in a month? This could be a tricky question because remember there's a, di there's a different amount of days in certain months. So there's 28 to 31 days in some of the months. Does anyone know what month has 28 days? How many days are there in a year? Well done, it's 365. And how many days are there in a leap year? And this year is also a leap year. Well done, it's 366. Okay, so a clock face is a full circle, which is made up of four quarters. How many minutes make up quarter of an hour? As you can see, we've got the four, this is one quarter here. So looking at it, we need to find out how many minutes are in this quarter. Can you see if you count by fives? So five, 10, 15. Well done, there's 15 minutes in each quarter of an hour. There it is. There are 15 minutes in quarter of an hour. When we tell the time, we either say it is past or to the hour. So everything that is from 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, we always say it is quarter or past the hour. So I would say it is five minutes past one o'clock. It is 10 minutes past one o'clock. It is 15 minutes past one o'clock or another way of saying it is quarter past. I would also say 20 minutes past, 25 minutes past or half past the hour. Then as you can see the green part, this is going to the next hour. So that means that the minutes hand is moving towards the next hour. So what I would say there is, I would say it is 25 minutes to the next hour. How I figure that out is because if you see here, this little line is a little bit darker and I would say five, 10, 15, 20, and it is 25 minutes. Now remember, using the clock can be tricky because if you see here, there's like, it's the number one is here and a five is here. But remember, the one represents the hours and the five is representing the minutes past that hour. And this side it is the minutes towards the next hour. Well done for giving everything a go. That is excellent. So let's have a look at this time. What time is it here? So you can see the hour hand is in between one and two because it is just, just past one o'clock. And then it is here at 15. So it is quarter past one. The big hand is pointing at three, which is the first quarter. Where is the small hand pointing? Is it on a number? It's actually a quarter of the way between one and two. So can you see that there? It's between one and two. What time is this clock showing? So see if you can give it a go and guess it. Where is the big hand pointing? So 
I can see the big hand is pointing at quarter. What's this? It's quarter to the next hour. So it's pointing at nine. Where is the little hand pointing? Well done, it's pointing in between 11 and 12. So three quarters of the way between 11 and 12. So it's quarter to 12, well done. Now, what time is this? What do you notice about the small hand? So if you can see when we go back a little bit, you can see that it is nearly to the next hour. So the, the small hand is closer to that hour. Whereas, what about here? It is halfway between the three and the four. So then that gives you a big clue. That means that it is half past three. So here is a little plenary. Which clock is showing quarter past? Which clock is showing half past? And which clock is showing quarter two? So give those a go and I look forward to seeing them. Bye.